Welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP and we're looking at the post widgets from Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor and you can use this of course both in the pro and the free version. Usually when I look at the posts widgets that come with add-on packs I am not really impressed. There are many features in many of these widgets and when you click on them like equalize height they don't work. All kinds of things like excerpt length you adjust it and it doesn't adjust the excerpt length. So many of them. And that is where this widget does them all. So I can highly recommend this widget if you need to have a post add-on somewhere on any page at the bottom or you need a, a read more section on your archive, not on your archive, on your single post page. This is really a highly recommendable widget from Ultimate Add-ons. And in this period for Black Friday, don't remember to grab their biggest discount ever. Grab 30% off now. And if you do that, please follow the link below. Let's go have a look at this post element and it's going to take, it can take a long time. There are so, so many features in this, but I will just touch base on them and give you an idea of how they work. So type in posts and then look for this one here with the UAEL for ultimate add-ons for Elementor and drag it and drop it. And I've got about five or five, five posts, I think that are already in there and they already come in populated very nicely. Let's go and style them. So like I said, there is so much options here. I'm going to run through them. This is the classic styling. So first of all, if you go to general, some of the settings here will change depending on which one you change over here. You've got classic event, card, create a feed, and then news. So to give you an idea just here of the general one, you have your layout as grid. You can do it also as masonry. Then it will look at the lens and they will adjust them accordingly to that. I've got only five in this one and you can have a carousel as well. Carousel works very nicely. And then the last one, not only for the carousel, is that you've got this one called featured, which gives you a very, very big image. And then these other ones featured. Now, the moment you look at this, you're going to see something that I'm going to complain about. And that is these spaces. And that's where you get equal height. And the moment I activate it, it does that. This to me is a deal breaker when I work with posts widgets, when there is a function like equalize or equal height. I've worked with so many that when you activate it, it just doesn't do this. But I can give you a full guarantee that the equal height function, equalize function in this post widget works perfectly. Highly recommended. Pagination, there you've got it. You can have numbers and you can set the numbers here at the bottom. And of course, the numbers are not showing because I allow six. Let's reduce it to three posts per page. And then we should have our page numbers down there. There we go. Okay, this looks ugly. If it's going to be like this with the feature, then I guess we only need to go down to two. And then we'll have a better layout option here. Much better. And you can go and style this. You can have put it in the center, change the color and everything. Let's go have a look first then at the skins that you can have. I showed you the classic one, which is that. Then the event, which gives you the date in the middle. And this you will probably use if you have event custom post type and you want to use it for that. All right. And then you have to go and check again what is the features under that. You get get the equal height options, paginations and the layout. Link the complete box. So if you activate this, when you hover over the entire box, it will become a link. After event, we have the card option. I really like card option as well. And just see, I do not think you can equalize this one. That is the only difference. Let's go to grid. Yes, and not able to equalize this. It's a pity because card function is pretty nice. Then for skin create a feed. And this you will probably put in, you can do it for the entire page or you can put it in the third or a, or a half section. And what I want to show with the create a feed, we've put it here in general on three. But if we put pagination on numbers, you know how numbers work, but on infinite. You're not going to see the infinite display in this view. You will see these little bubbles keep bubbling up here. You will need to go and update it and then go and preview it to see how it will display on your front end. And that, of course, you're going to put at the bottom of your page unless you only have a few posts. So if I scroll down and I get here to my three, it's going to load and load in the rest. 
That is what the infinite mode would do. And last skin on the list is the news feed. And news is one that I particularly like a lot. I like this bigger one on many of the sites where I have to put them in. It just looks more, I want to say stylish and professional, but who, what do I know? And those are the skins that you have. So let's jump back to something like classic so we can work with that, give an idea of the rest. And we're going to go back to three. And then under the classic, the layout, we're going to choose also just again, the grid. Keep it very simple there. Pagination, we can leave on numbers and then page layout. And I'm going to keep this equal height. So the queries, these are the normal things you get, but I like how they've listed out the queries. You can add and remove the queries over here. So you can add your post queries over here, match categories. You can choose, I have over here, cities, France, and regions. And then for tags, you have a number of tags in here. So if I decide I want to choose something only like travel, it will just bring out and query those with the travel tag to it. Um, let's see what else. Match author is only one author. That's me. And match post is also filterable for that. And then you have your offset here. And the offset is usually for many of the current news, you will offset it by one. You do not want the main news article to display here plus this news, which is the current one. So you offset it by one, it reduces that article and just jumps to the previous one. That is what the offset will allow you to do. And then you can also arrange the dates and then display search box, you have these here if the post is not found. Filterable tabs, now very nice feature again. You throw them here at the top. I've got cities, France and regions. So if I click on it, it will only do that. If it doesn't work in the page builder view, just refresh it or go to your front end to see how it looks over there. Like for example, now I've clicked your all, it's not loading all. That does happen. So it's not anything wrong. You can also filter it by tags. And then I have quite a number of tags, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there are all the tags. You see, they've loaded all three again, and they will display the rest. And you can do the normal thing here. You can style them where you want them to go. You can change the text color over here. And then you have the space between the tabs, which is strange because it's between the tabs, but it also adds spacing over here. So just notice that it also adds space between your tags up here and then your posts and then you have your bottom spacing. So I'll reduce that a little bit and you have a filter separator there. It just added that line and you can change the color of that one. Let's make it black. You can see it more clear and let's re remove it again. Change the topography here as well. So you've got your image settings. Where do you want it to be top or on the background? and update there you see it is now overlay background pretty nice as well and then you choose of course the size here medium large will should suffice for this you have overlay color all these options that you have and one of the things i like is this hover option that you have the scaling here you can just add a little bit of that so once you hover over it why is it not doing is it because this is okay so let's go back and put it to top it did work on top so maybe not for the background if I hover over it, it does that. I like that. So that is what the scaling option will do for you over there. And then link the image and open a new tab. Those are normal stuff. So the title here, you can activate it. You can deactivate it. For meta, you have quite a selection here. Do you want to show the author? Do you want to show categories? So if I activate all of these, you will see they are added over here in the meta box in this function. All right, so now we've got all of that. And then we have also the taxonomy badge, this one over here that displays there. And you can say maximum items to show. You can add a second one. Then it will bring in more of the taxonomy with that and your separator over here. Your excerpt here is the one that I've also mentioned earlier. It's at 25. If I type in, for example, 50, you will see that the length of my excerpt extends. And this is something that I've tested in many other widgets for uh, add-ons for Elementor and it didn't work. So I really like the fact here you can type in zero or you can just deactivate it there if you don't want to have exit. Right. I like that. And then your call to action is your button. You go with your button. A lot of styling you can do here. 
icon spacing. We're not using icon there. And then helpful information, more news that you can follow and documentation and videos on how this widget works. The one thing that I like under styling, and there's a lot that you can style here under the styling, for example, the layout, you can reduce this. And if you have the gap at the bottom, increase it. You can also for this styling, put it in the center to the right, left. And then for the block, you have your padding. The padding is applied in this area around that. And one thing that I like a lot when you come here to the pagination, to the title, to the meta is they give you this spacing slider in each of these. And I find that quite a problem in many posts that I want to add some space over here. And it doesn't allow me to do that. I have to go and play around with the line height, which I don't want to do. But here they give you that spacing option at each of these labels. So for the page number, if I increase that, you will see here for the page number. Now you can increase that. Let's go to title and I show you bottom spacing. So here's my title. I increase it and it allows me to just apply spacing there. Same for the meta. I can have my bottom spacing. Again, there you see it. And inner meta spacing. So I can apply more space between all that. That one looks a little bit weird. And again, taxon taxonomy badge. Again, I have spacing options there. I can increase it. I can decrease it. I like that. And then the call to action. One thing that you have to be aware of that when you start styling, Everything will reset if you go to the front end and you change the skin. So let's style it a little bit. We go to our pagination and we change our text color to this red maybe. Okay, there we go. And then we go to our taxonomy badge. Let's make the background this one and then make the text color white. Okay, and then the hover color we should also make white or another color. Let's make it this cream just to give it a little bit of effect and then call to action. Let's do the same. Full width is also very nice if it is nicely aligned. Right. So now I've styled it here to this color that I would like it to have. And then I decide later on that I want to change the skin. I go to event and it will reset the default color scheme. So be aware of that, that if you want to play around and see what you like and you don't want to go and do all the styling all over again, that choose how you want it to display first, finish everything on the content side and do your styling at the very end. I highly recommend this widget by itself alone. There are some other add-ons that will give you three or four different widgets for what this widget can do in one combined. So this makes this really an ultimate add-on for Elementor. And I think there is not like 50 or 100 plus widgets that you get currently with the ultimate add-ons pack for Elementor by Brainstorm. But what they do give you is well thought out, well executed, and it works the way it should be working. Right. So don't forget about that Black Friday savings that is going on. 30% deal off. And remember, if you are interested in it, please follow the link in the description below. Have a good night.